Right, today I, uh, I thought I'd make some knobs for my manual mill. I've been going to do this for about three years but never got round to it until today. Um, just a fluted knob, 38mm in diameter. Uh, I'm going to do the profile in the CNC lathe and then later on when I've got um, I need four of them so I'm going to make about four or whenever I run out of material I might make six <coughs> um, and then I'm going to put them in the CNC mill to, to do the flutes so here we go Took a bit of bark off doing another job.
right <coughs> now I'm going to put the flutes on it the uh, sorry the uh, chamfer the flutes <laughs> Using a, uh, a 10 millimeter spot drill with a 90 degree angle on it, gives 45 degrees on the on the chamfer. So it's got a zero up now. Just the next process is to uh, do the chromate conversion. Right, I thought I'd show you how I do the chromate conversion on these sort of things. I've got this uh, little wire basket I found on the road, welded a little bit of a handle onto it, and I use it to do the multiple parts just like that. What I've got here is a, a bucket of hot water out of hot water system and the uh, allochroming solution uh, over there in that bucket that's been there for a couple of years now. I keep the lid on it and it lasts a long time. Um, the trick with good uh, chromate conversion is to get all the oxide layer off uh, any aluminium and uh, freshly machined parts like these uh, don't need much cleaning up. All I've done with these is simply degreased them, but um, uh, it's a good idea if you've got uh, a thick oxide la uh, layer on it to get rid of it with scotch bright or something like that. Anyway, here we go. The first thing is to heat it up. I just put it into this hot water, bring it up to the ideal temperature is about 35 degrees centigrade, um, but it's not that critical. It certainly works better in, in hot weather than, than cold weather. That should do it. And all I do then is simply dip it into the allochrome solution and jiggle it so that it gets a good even coating. Uh, a good solution will only take about 30 seconds to do this. But uh, this solution, as I said earlier, is around about two years old starting to get a little bit weaker so I run it for I don't know, 45 seconds to a minute larger parts I hang on a piece of wire and do the one or two at a time but smaller parts like this you can do if you've got tiny enough parts you can do the thousand at a time if you really want that small parts that looks pretty good to me some of the solution. And 
there's the uh, result. What I do now is dip it back into the hot water to set it. Just dipping it back into the hot water brings it up to temperature again and it helps to uh, put a bit of solution down those threaded holes. So there we go. Nicely allochrome parts. I'll take another shot when they're finished and dried. And here they are. All finished. Right, this is where the, um, the knobs are going to go on my uh, uh, milling machine, manual milling machine. Oh, I re recently converted it, put a um, three phase motor and, uh, and a uh, variable frequency drive onto it works absolutely brilliant. I'll give you a shot of that. The great thing is, uh, I'll switch the light on. The great thing is, you just uh, run it. And if you want to drill a big hole, you can. That's the RPM of the motor, not the uh, spindle. It's going on pretty, pretty slow at the moment. Or I can bring it up to 1200 RPM. I can max it out at 20, 2500 RPM. No more changing bloody belts. Anyway, these are the original uh, locks for the for the Gibbs on the on this machine. They are a real pain in the neck because down here they used to interfere with this bolt, and I'd be winding it across and wondering why I couldn't go any further. It was because these stupid bloody leaves used to dangle down like that. So. Ages ago I, I tried to find some knobs and I found some old stereo knobs that I had in a box of junk and I put them on and they've served very well for years but I decided to replace them with some proper knobs. Okay, um, I've just got them sitting on there temporarily at the moment but you can see the general idea of what I'm trying to achieve. <coughs> 